Hi everybody, this is the Planet Earth here. Today we're going to be doing some speed tests on the Verizon. This is a 2018 uh, speed test from Verizon Wireless. It's a beautiful day over here. The current temperature is 57 degrees. Nice and cool right now. It's really nice and cool. Very cool and comfortable. So right now we're getting 130 megs. Nothing too special, but I mean 140 megs. Um, and uh, 50 megabit upload speed on the Verizon 4G LTE network. However, in 2018-19, this year and next year, Verizon is going to start releasing 4 by 4 MIMO. And we are going to see up to gigabit LTE speeds. Now Verizon is going to start releasing the 5G network. I do not think that the Note 8 may or may not support it. I'm not 100% sure. But I know that the uh, the Snapdragon 845 processor should support the network. However, I don't know about Apple devices. I don't know if Apple devices are going to support that speed or not. However, I do know that Apple will probably create an iPhone with gigabit LTE support on the next version. Apple is always one year behind, but that is okay. Um, I do like Apple products, especially iPads. Their iPads are just amazing. So right now, I'm doing some speed tests here on the... Speed is 5.43 p.m., and uh, we're doing some speed tests, and just a... So the speeds are really good right now, considering that it is a... <sighs> Uh, 4G LTE connection from Verizon Wireless in Miami, Florida. Sun is currently setting. Boo-hoo. But, uh, no, the sun is setting. Such a beautiful sunset, though. And it, it never gets cool in Florida. I mean, South Florida. You know, it's funny is Tallahassee, Florida gets, like, into the 20s. And over here, it will not get that cold. It's only, it's only like, a 500-mile difference. But for some reason, it just doesn't get as cool. All right, let's go ahead and try to switch servers. We got 56 megabit uploads. Like, nobody's on this tower at 5 o'clock at night. Amazing. This is a Verizon 4G LTE speed test 2018. And we're still getting over 90 megabits per second. For some reason, the speed's not going over 100 now. That's weird. I guess somebody else is downloading, but the upload speed is incredible. So we're still getting 50 megabit upload speed. Let me go ahead and move down the road and see what happens. See if I move down the road and see what happens. Let's just see what happens if we move down the road. All right, let's go ahead and move down the road a little bit here. Woo, it's chilly. Now it's 56 degrees. Okay, let's move down the road here and get a little bit closer to the tower. Not quite close to it yet. Alright, now we're getting 120. It's more stable at 100 megs now. Alright. 108. And 50. 52. 53. And. Let's see what we got here. Come on. All right, we're getting 120 megabits per second. 120. And 46 megabit upload speed. Wow, it's beautiful. 130 megs, so it's a consistent 
More than 100 megs a second. That's for damn sure. That's good. 125 megabits. Verizon's still kicking ass as usual. By the way, almost every cell phone tower in Miami has 50 megabit upload speed. For your information, if you ever come down to South Florida. And of course, I said almost every tower has that kind of speed. I'm not saying that all towers have that speed, but the ones in Miami, Florida, and um, have this kind of upload speed. I'll give an example. Uh, most of the towers in Miami-Dade County have this kind of speed. However, once you go out of Miami, it seems to be like 24 megabit upload speed. But in Miami, it's 50 megabit upload speed. And in uh, uh, Miami, uh, Monroe, Monroe County only has a couple of towers. They get that speed. Once you go south of Key Largo, Florida, and you go south of that, you don't get 50 megabit upload speed. It doesn't happen throughout the whole keys. You don't get 50 megabit upload speed uh, throughout the keys, unfortunately. And the only speed that you do get, well, it ain't coming from the keys, man. You know, it's got to go through a wire line through the fiber optics of underground cabling uh, to go and, and then do your speed test through Verizon. And there is a pretty big latency when you go down to Key West, like 70 milliseconds. I have noticed like a 70 millisecond ping to go to, to Miami servers uh, from Miami to Key West, which is over 120 miles away. But the latency is kind of high because there's only one connection. In that sense, there's only one connection specifically. So that's also a little bit of a problem. However, in Monroe County, which is the Keys only, uh, there seems to be a bit of an issue with that. However, in other counties, Miami-Dade County and Broward County doesn't seem to have this particular issue with 50 megabit upload speed. I don't see an issue with 50 megabit upload speed at that point. No. And right now, it's 55 degrees. It's getting cool kind of fast, though, bro. What the fuck? Well, there you go. You have seen, now seen Verizon 4G LTE upload and download speed test for 2018. Expect more increases uh, in that upload and download speed as the time goes on. Expect increases in that upload and download speed as the time goes on. Thank you guys for watching. And this has been the Planet Earth here just doing some speed tests in uh, Miami. Uh, excuse me.